Got a casualty. Um, I believe what happened is uh, the same behavior that I saw out of the white guy here. Uh, this guy here has been eating most of the fish by and far and large. And uh, I noticed that it'll, it'll sit on the bottom of the tank. And it does that quite frequently. And it just seems to be, I almost want to say like resting. Maybe it's too full, it's overeating, it's... So anyway, um, yesterday I noticed for the first time that I've noticed this one did the same thing. So I just kind of chalked it up as, uh, you know, it, it ate something and it, it died because of it. So what I'm thinking about doing is um, get rid of this fish and just be done with the goldfish and give it a shot with the other guys and just, I don't know. I feel like I'm in a really weird spot with the aquaponic process where I'm still trying to figure out what the best fish is to have in here. And I originally got the goldfish primarily so I can cycle my tank. And then, um, yeah, I guess I grew attached to them. And uh, now I think it's probably time to, you know, essentially get unattached. <laughs> If in theory, I think you overate a fish and it just sort of died because of it, it would be very easy to just cut open his belly and have a look. Now, in my day to day life or whatever, I've noticed it's probably one of the healthiest fish I've ever seen. It's pretty placid, it's not as aggressive or whatever active as the white one is. The other one gets a little more nicks and scratches and has uh, you know like missing scales and and can have issues with the fins it looks very healthy like I'm, I was all I've always been pleased with the uh, with how the fish looked I don't see any health issues it's definitely dead um, I know uh, looking into the gills I haven't done this in a long time <laughs> uh, there's usually some you can look for evidence of things problems so bear with me that I am definitely a noob at this. It's not as pink as I would expect, but at the same time, I'm not I'm not seeing anything that would trigger any concern for you know health. I'm not seeing any bumps or anything like that. Um, I guess what I could probably do here is uh, let's open it up in the mouth here. I'm I'm trying to be gentle, <laughs> even though it's dead, but I don't want to. I don't know if, how hard you can, you know, easy it would be to see that. I'm not really seeing anything right here. I mean, I got the camera in the way, but uh, just trying to look into it with my own eyes. I'm not seeing anything that would uh, anything that would give me any due cause of concern. Okay, so uh, I've never done this in a while. <laughs> it's been since I was a teenager, since the last time I've actually gutted or cleaned a fish. So I could be doing this wrong. Oh, what is that? There we go. What is that? This is probably pretty gross for you guys. I'm not 100% sure if that is... Okay, so this is probably some part to do with the stomach itself. But, what I am seeing is no big fish stuck in here. I'm not seeing anything, let's see if we can open them up a bit more. I'm not seeing anything in here to give me any reason to uh, suspect that there's any, yeah, so actually right now, I'd have to rule it out as a unknown death. It's kind of cool in its own way. I'll admit I have no interest in autopsy work or any sort of thing like that, but uh, actually kind of an observation I'm making, if I were to use my, uh, my finger, there's not a lot of meat on this fish. So even though the fish look like it's, it's like a normal size, it's not overfed, it's not, uh, actually it's kind of cool because when you actually sort of like play around and you remove all the, the, oh, there's, oh, this is pretty cool. This is the, um, uh, what's it called? It's like the an air bladder that they, all fish have. This is how they control their buoyancy. And they're able to control this um, to basically go up and down. You know, they don't just 
to use their fins to move. Like that's that's more of like a guidance thing. To get buoyancy. This is what they manipulate. That is really cool. That is bleeping awesome. But other than that, um yeah, I mean I I don't think it's fat. I don't think uh I don't think there's any sort of uh health concerns that I can see here. But it's interesting because when I think about like, because I don't I don't eat a lot of fish, and so like there's no meat here. This feels all skin, like more or less, right? Like I'm sure there's 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 some you know muscle in there. But I guess what I'm what I'm getting at now that I'm looking at it is even though it looks you know minus the whatever like it looks healthy, it looks of of a size that I would expect it to be. You know, it's it doesn't have a whole lot of meat. Now, you know, I guess I should probably factor in. You know, I'm, I'm not a uh, fish biologist, and obviously, like when you buy a big salmon, they're a lot bigger than this. Sorry, I I hope I don't uh, look like I'm too you know amused by this in some weird way. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call that one that. So that's the fish. I don't know how it died, but it's dead. <laughs> All right, this may seem a little cruel. I do feel kind of bad doing this, but here's, I have to do this contrast. Even though this one's alive, it's, you can see a lot more of the stress that it's got. So, unfortunately, I have to go let this one go. So I reckon the best place for me to put this right now would be uh, essentially in this uh, foliage here kind of in the corner of the yard. I don't see any reason that we would have any reason to use it for any other reason. And I'll just kind of turf it off into the corner. Be done. All right, let's, uh... Poor guy. Moment of silence. <laughs> 